from El Shifa Medical Complex to El Quds Hospital and from displacement routes to refugee schools, the Israeli bombing does not exclude any safe place in Gaza. If you are wounded or injured in El Shifa Medical Complex, El Quds Hospital or the Indonesian Hospital in Gaza, then you are exposed to the bombing. If you are inside an ambulance moving on an open road, then you are also exposed to the bombing. Whereas if the bombing has reached you, causing you to depart this life, then your remains may also be within reach of the bombing and the bullets. This is a summary of what a day in Gaza currently looks and looked like in the past days. No place is safe and no one is far from danger. The Israeli bombing of Gaza targets ambulances as they transport the wounded in the streets of the Gaza Strip or as they are within proximity of various hospitals, such as El Shifa Medical Complex, El Quds Hospital, and the Indonesian Hospital. In fact, the bombing also targeted the buildings of these hospitals themselves and caused extensive damage to them. This is what the World Health Organization considered as a shocking matter, while the director of Gaza's hospitals described it as a new massacre. The Israeli bombing continued indiscriminately in the majority of Gaza Strip as it targeted a number of displaced people as they headed to the southern regions to escape the violent clashes in the north. While the occupation bombs reached the cemeteries and killed about 10 martyrs after targeting one of the workers in the region. And that happened on the same day that witnessed the killing of dozens due to directly bombing a school for displaced people by military tanks, followed by targeting a United Nations school in a new massacre with its victims being more than 100, killed and wounded. Although hospitals are still providing some of their services under the bombardment, even these partial services are at risk of stopping due to running out of fuel, to which Netanyahu responded by confirming Israel's refusal to provide fuel or transfer any money to the Gaza Strip. All of these events took place at the same time of the visit of the US Secretary of State to Israel, who reaffirmed Israel's right to defend itself while pointing out the necessity of protecting civilians and a ceasefire.